Picture this, right? You start a new print on demand store. You make a whole bunch of designs. You spend time making the logo, building your brand, and then you're online and you see somebody ripping off your designs or ripping off your logo or even using your brand name. They're stealing your idea. What do you do? And how can you protect yourself in the first place from having that actually happen? Well, in this video today, we're going to be discussing what you can actually do if somebody does that to you and how you can protect yourself before that even happens. We'll jump right into it right after this. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. You are now entering a guru free zone. My name is Joe Robert, founder of podninjas.com. I make YouTube videos here on my channel to give you actionable advice to start, grow, or scale a print on demand business on Shopify. And if you think I'm doing a good job with my content as a small YouTuber, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel and also like the video. It really helps my channel to grow. And if you're new to print on demand and you want some extra help, please check out our Facebook group. The link is down in the description. We have over over 20,000 print on demand store owners inside of it and we'd love to welcome you there next. Today we're going to be talking about copyrights and trademarks. What they are, how to get them, why you should get them or even if you should consider getting them and at the end of today's video I am going to give you my opinion on the subject and what you should be doing as either a beginner to print on demand or someone who has been doing this for a while. Before we go any further I want to sort of break down what these two things actually are so that way you guys can understand what we are going to be referencing throughout the rest of the video. As you can see here a copyright refers to the legal right of the owner of intellectual property in simpler terms copyright is the right to copy this means that the original creators of products and anyone they give authorization to are the only ones that have the right to reproduce the work to understand it further I want you to check this out this says when it comes to intellectual property how to copyright something is one of the most contested issues the arguments aren't because it's hard to copyright something it's actually because it's so easy technically you own the copyright to your work as soon as you create it. It doesn't even have to be published to be protected. Okay, freeze. Before we go any further now, I want to talk about what a trademark actually is because it's different than a copyright. A trademark, as you see, is a symbol, word, or words that are legally registered or established by use as representing a company or product. It is an easily recognizable symbol, phrase, or word that denotes a specific product. It legally differentiates a product or service from all other of its kind and recognizes the source company's ownership of the brand. And how you get one differs a little bit from a copyright as you saw earlier. See here it says to register a trademark, go to the US Patent and Trademark Office's website and there you can file yourself a trademark. So this means that essentially a trademark typically protects brand names and logos used on goods and services and a copyright protects an original artistic or literary work. To understand this in more simpler terms, a trademark is going to protect your brand's logo or your brand's name. And a copyright copyright protects your original artistic works or your print on demand designs. Based on what we've read so far, a trademark must actually be filed with the government and a copyright is created essentially as soon as you create the design. As soon as you put it on your store and you have it made by someone or you make it yourself, it is yours. You own the copyright to it because you created it. Take this for example, okay? Take the brand Disney, right? Hopefully by now you've heard of the company Disney, but when they make a movie, okay, their brand name of Disney and their logo is what they're actually filing to have protected with a trademark. Trademark. You can look up their trademark. They own it. However, when it comes to a movie that they are producing, they are not taking the time to go through and file trademarks for every character's name or something that's written in a book or even a song that appears in a movie. They simply own a natural copyright to it because it is something that they created and published in a movie or a book or something like that. The same is true for your print on demand store. The only thing that you would actually be trademarking is your logo or your brand name. When you create a design, you own the copyright to it automatically. All right, I wanna do a little bit of story time here. I run a uh, program called the Print On Demand Challenge. I'm telling you about this because I'm currently in the process of trying to trademark the words Print On Demand Challenge. I want to be the only person that can legally run a course called the Print On Demand Challenge. And here's why this is important for you and why it is part of this story time here on this video because I have been trying to get these words trademarked for the past several 
several months. Trademarks are expensive. This process is going to cost me about $700 just to trademark those words. There are numerous sources that you can use to help you to file your trademark. Most of them are going to charge you a fee and you're also going to have to pay the government about $300 just to file your application. And here's the interesting part. My trademark, Print On Demand Challenge, is actually becoming very difficult to actually prove that I am using it. I have now sent the government my website. I've sent them copies of this to show them that I am using the words and they have still yet to approve my trademark. This process takes months. Literally, if you go on Google and you look it up, it's going to say that it's going to take between six and 12 months to actually get a trademark approved if the government even approves it in the first place. Why am I telling you this? Well, as a print on demand store owner, especially a beginner, odds are that you have $700 in six to 12 months to wait for a trademark to be approved for your logo or for your brand name is probably not very likely. As a beginner, you probably don't have just an extra $700 to protect your logo of your brand that hasn't even started yet. Another thing to actually consider is will someone actually steal your brand name? Will someone actually steal your logo? The odds of that are probably pretty slim. I'm speaking from experience here. I have never met somebody who had their brand name or logo stolen from them. Of course, I have seen people have issues with designs, which we will talk about in a little bit, but when it comes to actually trademarking your logo, I don't think that it is something that you need to waste your time on. If you get to the point where your brand becomes something big, right, and you're making tens of thousand dollars a month on your brand, maybe it's time to consider hiring a lawyer and filing yourself a trademark with the government for your logo and for your brand name, but as a beginner, it's probably not worth it. The second part of this is obviously your design. Designs. You're creating designs, putting them on your store, and then you see another store that is ripping you off and using the designs that you have created. Now, I've already told you earlier in this video that as the creator of that artistic work, you have a natural copyright to protect your own work, which means that whoever is using your design is automatically violating your trademark because they are stealing it. Here's the tricky part though. What are you gonna do? In order to actually get them to stop, you're gonna have to do one of two things. The first option is very expensive, and as a beginner, you're probably not going to do it. It involves hiring a lawyer, filing paperwork with the courts, demanding that they take it down or that you will sue them, right? Most of you probably don't have the money to go sue somebody over a hooded blanket design. You're probably not gonna take the time to actually go out and find a lawyer who specializes in that type of thing. What if the person stealing your design lives in a different country as you, then it becomes a really, really difficult thing to actually get done. In fact, the simplest way to do it is to file something called a DMCA. I'm not gonna go into the entire process. A simple Google search will reveal a couple of different options for you, but essentially a DMCA is when you send them a letter demanding that they take it down. You're basically warning them that you might pursue legal action. You can also work with the platform that they are selling the product on, meaning if they're on Shopify, you can Google the Shopify DMCA process and someone can help you out to get that design removed. But when it comes down to it, you're probably not going to spend any money on legal fees. As a beginner, I would not recommend trademarking things and wasting the time because like I said, with my print on demand challenge example, it is taking a long time and it is costing me $700 to get it done. And when it comes to copyrights to actually take somebody to court over it is very expensive, folks. You're probably not going to waste the time. You're probably not going to invest the money. You'd be much better off going and filing a DMCA. So hopefully today in this video, some of your questions regarding trademarks were answered. If you still have questions, put them down in the comments below. As always, my name is Joe Robert. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.